Hi guys. So, end of the month slash beginning of the month, which means it is time for my April TBR. Now, since um, doing the whole genre lottery thing worked out so well for me January, February, March, I am doing something a little bit different this month. I am backed up on my arcs. By backed up, I mean I haven't read any of them. So for the month of April, I am going to be tearing through all of these arcs that I have. Now, starting with the physical copies, there is My Lady's Choosing by Katie Curran and Larissa Zagaris. This one was sent to me by Bethany over at Beautifully Bookish Bethany. It is a interactive romance novel. So it's kind of like if you were a kid, you read that like pick your own ending kind of a story where if you want this to happen, you go to this page. If you want this to happen instead, you go to this page and you kind of make your way through the story that way. This is one of those. And I did flip through it a couple times already. It looks very snarky and hilarious and it looks like right up my alley. So I'm super stoked about it. It is supposed to come out April 3rd. So I should probably get on that. Then there is Fury, Bro Fury Born by Claire Legrand, which is the first book in the Imperium trilogy. This was given to us in a fairy loot box in like December or January. It comes out May 22nd. What is this one about? I'm not sure, but it is a YA fantasy series, so yeah. And this is what the regular cover looks like, and it looks awesome. I will link the Goodreads description down in the box so you can find out. Then there is The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. This lovely one with purple sprayed pages came in my February Illumicrate box. And I'm super stoked about it. It's gorgeous. Look at it. You can't see the cover very well because it's dark out because it's raining and snowing. Yeah, that's what I said. It's raining and snowing. So I have my ring light up really high. So it means anything white in front of this camera right now is just, just blank. What is this one about? I don't know either. A princess, a soldier, a hunter, a traitor, and a thief. In Brigant, Princess Catherine prepares to marry a man she's never met while her true love, Ambrose, faces the executioner's block. And Calera, downtrodden servant, March, seeks revenge on the prince who betrayed his people. In Pretoria, Edion stands at a crossroads. Family and fortune one way, destruction the other. And in the barren northern territories, Tash is facing her demons, literally. As the kingdom's alliances shift and shatter, these five young people find their futures inextricably linked by a mysterious battle of demon- oh, by a mysterious bottle of demon smoke and by the unpredictable tides of war. Who will rise, who will fall, and who will unlock the secrets of the smoke. This one is due to come out May 3rd. Then I have Nixia, which yes is already out, but there's a reason for it. I ordered this in paperback from the UK and I got the um, US ARC. I'm not unhappy about it though because I like ARCs. I'm a hoarder. I just like to have them. I think it's a neat thing to own. So there is Nixia, which is a sci-fi. It's kind of a YA-ish. It's this kid from Detroit named Emmett who's basically given this opportunity to make a lot of money, but it's in space and it's a dangerous opportunity. So I don't, you know, me in some reason, I don't read that far into it. Um, let's see. Emmett Atwater agrees to leave Earth behind when Babel Communications offers him a fortune. The catch. He has to launch into deep space to get it. One of the ten selected recruits, he boards the company's spaceship and sets course for a planet that Babel, that Babel has kept hidden from the rest of the world. Before long, he discovers that all of Babel's recruits have at least one thing in common. They're broken. Broken enough that Babel can remold them however it pleases. I'm not reading the rest of the summary because I like to go into stuff blank, empty, don't know nothing. You know that. So, um, that is because I have a NetGalley arc of the sequel, which let's get into that. So, the sequel being Nixia Unleashed is due out July 17th, and I have an electronic arc of that, and this is the cover. I also have a arc of the Queens of Ennis Lear, which is due to come out March 27th. Whoops. <laughs> It's out. <laughs> My bad. I'm still gonna read it though. Um, this one says the erratic decisions of a prophecy obsessed king have drained Ennis Lear of its wild magic, leaving behind a trail of barren crops and despondent subjects. Enemy nations circle the once bountiful isle, sensing its growing vulnerability, hungry to control the ideal port for all trade routes. The king's three daughters know the realm's only chance of resurrection is to crown a new sovereign, proving a strong hand can resurrect magic and defend itself, but their father will not choose an heir until the longest night of the year when prophecies align and a poison ritual can be enacted. Anyways, um, 
So that is that. I also have a, a net galley of, I'm so excited for this one, Mirage by Samaya Dayud. Let me, let, girl, let me tell you what this one is about. In a star system dominated by the brutal Vathic Empire, 18-year-old Amani is a dreamer. She dreams of what life was like before the occupation. She dreams of writing poetry like the old world poems she adores. She dreams of receiving a sign from Daya that one day she too will have adventure and travel beyond her isolated moon. But when adventure comes for Amani, it is not what she expects. She's kidnapped by the regime and taken in secret to the royal palace where she discovers that she is identical, that she's nearly identical to the cruel half Vathic princess Merum. The princess is so hated by her conquered people that she requires a body double someone to appear as her in public ready to die in her place. As Amani is forced into her new role she can help but enjoy the palace's beauty and her time with the princess's fiance Idris. But the glitter the, ro the glitter of the royal courts belies a world of violence and fear. If Amani wishes to ever see her family again she must play the princess to perfection because one wrong move could lead to her death. Okay, maybe it's just the cover giving me City of Brass vibes. Not so much the book because it's set in space, but just this is the cover. I just, I don't know. It looks so good. And I read the first couple pages of it when I got the arc. I'm so freaking excited. It's not even funny. This one comes out August 28th, so I have time, but I want to read it first. Then I also have the Net Gallery arc for Lost Gods by Micah Yonko. In an epic fantasy kingdom inspired by African legends, a young assassin finds himself hunted by the brothers and sisters he has trained alongside since birth. A teenage assassin is hunted in, by his own brotherhood as he seeks to uncover a supernatural conspiracy before it's too late. So, yep, there are only seven ratings for it thus far. It comes out April 5th, so I might need to get on that one. What else I got in here? God. I also have From Unseen Fire by Cass Morris. I, this one, oof, lord, the summary is so convoluted. I don't know how I'm going to like this one, um, but we'll see. This is the first book in the Avon Cycle series. I don't know if it's going to be a duology or a trilogy, but this one's got, it's kind of Roman, Greek or Roman inspired. It has a magic system. Um, there's set like this, basically the fall of the Republic and the whole nation goes to shit. And the dictator's gone, so now this, everybody's just basically trying to figure out what the hell to do. And the main character is a female with mage powers, and she's supposed to be very badass. I will link the summary for the description. I will link the just. I will link the Goodreads page for the book down below. Damn. Then there is the Isle of Blood and Stone, which I don't know that I'm gonna get to. The Wolf by Leo Carew, which I don't know what I'm gonna get to. And then Bruja Born, which I got, but didn't read the first one, so don't know if I'm gonna get to it. I will link those descriptions down <sighs> below. Is there anything else? I also have Lake Silence by Anne Bishop, which came out March 6th, so yeah, might as well, might as well forget that. So that is one, eight books. Four physical copies here. I feel like there's another one. I know I'm leaving something out. Midnight Wolf by Jennifer Ashley. This one I can read in a day. I'm really not tripping. Um, and this is a part of the Shifters Unbound series. It's the Shifter Romance. I have several of them that I own. I really like them. So uh, yeah, that's that. I also have an e-galley form of the Smoke Thieves. Good. So that means that I can read it. Um, on the computer and not have to take my pretty copy to work. So those are those 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 arcs that I have to read for the month of April. That is really not that bad. I can do it if I quit being a bum and get my life together. Which, to be honest, it's anybody's game at this point. I don't know. So that is it for this. I don't have a drink in hand this time because I'm actually on my way to work. I'm wearing scrubs. I'm on my way to work. Um, so, yeah, oops, sorry, scared the dog. So, I will catch you lovely people later. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.